for this order, we'll go ahead and, and pay with a credit card. Here, it, it prompts me basically if for some reason I need to do, I can do other credit card options here for manual if, if the device is offline or something like that. But typically, obviously, I'm connected to the physical device. I would click charge. That sends the information to the device. It is a Verifone device. It's a, that the, it's touchless, um, chip and pin, swipe and chip reader so then uh, you would take the credit card and obviously either swipe it or or hold it up to the device uh, to chip and pin it so if you can go ahead and do that priscilla so there's our test credit card that that's provided to us that then once approved pushes back that information automatically to us and then receipts are printed this is based on configuration you don't need to do this uh, this is just a credit card receipt that if you want to provide that to the customer here, I'm just printing it to PDF. And then once done, I can go ahead and click place order. And that process is the order. Um, there's my order number, 8127. Uh, it, I can also send an email receipt to the customer uh, through our um, uh, email capabilities. So I, you know, I would just put in their email Obviously, as a walk-up customer, they don't need to have it emailed. I could physically print it, um, but uh, they would go ahead and uh, put that in and then click done, and that would uh, email a receipt and obviously um, uh, place the, the order uh, into J.D. Edwards. The totals here, tax, sales tax coming from J.D. Edwards, what was tendered, how it was paid, and the last four digits of the credit card, which you're allowed, along with a barcode to that that represents the order number the order key uh, back uh, so if the customer comes back for a return you can just scan the receipt and then process uh, uh, pull back from history uh, the information so uh, here I'm going to go ahead and click close that process the order if I go to JD Edwards this is the JD Edwards environment that I am working with here in my JD Edwards environment, if I go ahead and into my POS, there is my order 8127. This is a, an order I did earlier today, 8126. But if we look at our order 8127, it goes in using the, the version. So uh, in this case, it's, it's a cash and carry. I'm taking it based on my order activity rules straight to invoicing. I go from 520 to 580. Um, and then I do the inventory uh, release of inventory um, uh, through sales update. But that's just the way I've configured it in my environment. You guys can do however you configure it in your environment. Um, obviously, here are my products. Here is my order number. We have a default customer that I'm working with here. Um, I can go and see payment information just like we see it through. Um, through e-commerce orders, if I go to, to my payment information, we've already charged the credit card. So it goes in straight as status 05. You've already done a sale and um, um, charged the credit card. So it's not, it's not a two-step. It's a, a single step. And um, uh, there's the amount that we've charged. So that transaction from a charging perspective is done. Everything's in Edwards and it's re just ready to be, in my case, invoice and sales updated um, uh, within the Edwards system. And I can move on to my next transaction. 